dear uh, colleagues, friends, uh, brothers and sisters, I greet you with all the greetings. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, wherever you are, whenever you are, and I wish and I hope that you all are enjoying a healthy and prosperous life, especially when we are still surrounding the second year with the uh, pandemic of COVID. Today we'll be talking about the 10th episode of Fatfada 5 to 5. Today we'll be talking about three things, isolationism, extremism, and terrorism and their causes. 20 causes for isolationism, extremism, and terrorism. I thank my colleague uh, Aya Abu Zainab who prepared uh, uh, the slide show and I will talk about my drawing of this uh, not gentleman, this uh, individual, this creature having a cigar in his mouth and surrounded by those people as you can see and I draw this image to show you the contrast between his life and the people like him and their, like, their lives and the people like them. I put this post uh, five years ago and about the causes, discussing the causes of uh, uh, isolationism, uh, isolationism, uh, extremism, and uh, uh, terrorism and today I decided to review it again to structure the post and to add things to it Uh, and today we'll be actually adding to it a lot of uh, uh, things as well. I reviewed this post, as you can see, and I added to it three points, definitions, solution, and messages to the young people. Definitions, I've got three or four definitions. Definition, definition of isolationism, definition of extremism, Definition of uh, terrorism. From MerriamWebster.com, definitions are isolation, solitude, seclusion mean state of one like me and you being alone, being alone and separated or in isolation from anyone and everyone. Solitude may imply a condition of being apart. From all human beings or all being or all of being out of by wish or circumstances from one usual associate. And solitude is by your wish you are separating yourself from other people. Isolation stresses detachment from others. So the three solitude, isolation and uh, seclusion is being alone, not being with anybody. Seclusion suggests a shutting away or keeping apart from others, often connoting deliberate withdrawal from the world. These are the meanings. Some of the causes which lead to this are bad personal experiences with others, People are treating you or me in a very bad manner, so you decided not to mix with anybody else. Loss of the dear ones, father, mother, both parents, children, close friends, uncle, auntie, grandfather, grandmother, which make you to go to this state of isolation or seclusion or uh, solitude. Contagious diseases and infectious diseases. 
I could be infected or somebody else is confirmed like now over the last nearly two years people because of COVID are isolating themselves from others psychiatric disturbances organic neurological disorders somebody is have good psych psychiatric disturbances or organic uh, neurological disorders this also make the withdrawal of the individual from the society even from the family working atmosphere a lot of pressure on the individuals a lot of pressure so they are under a lot of pressure and when they go home they don't want to even talk to their family members wife and children they don't want to go and visit anybody they want to just relax and sleep the last and not least is the political atmosphere could be very uh, can mute everybody sister uh, Zay, uh, Aya uh, political situation where you are scared from the governing regime who can uh, sorry somebody is uh, not uh, uh, please mute everyone sister uh, Aya coming back to it the last political situation political atmosphere when Aya can you mute all of them please or remove him yani badi Sorry. Uh, political atmosphere when there is no freedom and citizens are so scared to to be involved in any social activity so they are actually go to this uh, state of isolation Can you take them out, Sister uh, Aya? Okay. So, uh, political atmosphere, as I mentioned, let me go back. Second, second definition is to extremism. Extremism. ممكن تشيل السكرين هاي من ال sorry brothers and sisters some people come and disturb the talk and they're trying to clear the the yes remove them please yeah thank you and can now restart, please. I got this experience, uh, brothers and sisters, in the past by uh, people coming to disturb my talks. Not the first time. Uh, we'll get used to that. Anyway, extremism as a, as a, as a definition could have a political, religious, against uh, political, religious ideas or actions that you take a political action, religious, opinion, ideas, and uh, that are extreme. Extreme by whom? Extreme and not normal, reasonable, or acceptable by most of the people. And people can see that your action on a political ground, or religious ground, or idea ground is extreme. It's not reasonable. So they, 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 they actually uh, make it or make it extreme. And they make, it, make, make this action is extreme could be vocal or active to against fundamental British values, and this is the prevent definition. Uh, 
including democracy, rules of law, individual liberty, and mutual personal uh, mutual respect and tolerance and others. Radicalization is defined as the process by which people come to support terrorism and extremism, and in some cases, to them participate in terrorist groups. Also, radicalism could be defined as it is an expression used by others to describe action, used to stigmatize political ideology, which is far from political orientation of the society, used to stigmatize the violent attempts to make political and social changes. It's a process of rating a person, a group, or action as extremist, most probably to make most probably to make most probably to make uh, uh, to pass certain law or even declare war. What are the reasons for uh, extremism? Have got biological, psychological, social, cultural, religious, political, economical, social problems, internal and external tyranny. Biological, such as family mistreating to the children themselves, or the children have been exposed to psychological trauma. Psychological could be exposure to psychiatric disturbances or personality disorder. All this will lead to extremism. Social could be growing in a very poor, deprived, ignorant, backward community where there's a lot of pressure on the family members to be family disintegration or family fragmentation and this will lead to the people will become radical or extremist. Cultural, when culture opposes personal freedom and desire of learning, developing, and openness to the outside world, could be religious, living in a very contradicting society. Very contradicting society where in the church or the mosque, they talk about nobility and morality. And when the individual go outside to the society, they found a lot of contradiction to their moral values and they become extreme. Could be political, economical, and social problems affecting the society, the country itself, and this will make the individual to become extreme because he has a corrupt government. A government does not serve the people, but serve itself. Could be for tyranny. Tyranny could be internal by the dictatorship regime, or external by those developed countries who are actually imposing a lot of things on the poor countries. What's the definition of terrorism? There's no unified definition of terrorism. No unified definition of terrorism. At all. Globally. No unified universal definition of terrorism or for terrorism. The UN tried its best between 1970 and 90 to find a unified, comprehensive, legal definition, but it failed. You know it failed why? Because it failed for one reason, using violence in conflicts over freedom and self-determination. So some of the country refused to accept this as a self-defense. And up till now, there's no universal, unified definition of terrorism. In spite of the fact that 180 countries and more of the member states of the United Nations are, are fighting terrorism, terrorism, terrorism that we cannot actually, that we cannot define or know what is terrorism is about. Uh, 
TERN has no clear, unified, global objectives that can be tackled by law. The definition of the international law to terrorism is these violent actions leading to the creation of atmosphere of fear. Just violent action leading to the creation of atmosphere of fear. Most probably this will be directed towards religious group, political group, or ideological groups. Point number two we're going to discuss today is some causes, 20 causes of extremism. Isolationism and extremism, isolationism, and the last one is terrorism. 20 causes which I wrote five years ago. Five years ago about them. So my Facebook is not working properly. Understand. The 20 causes are number one suppression of freedom and conf confiscation of intellectual rights when you are living in a, a dictatorship regime there's no freedom there's no civil liberty space for you and for anybody else in the in the country and this will lead to isolationism extremism and radicalism and terrorism disabling the civil society sector and the closing is going and this is happening in a lot of countries. I don't want to mention names, but a lot of countries are doing that. Any civil servant, any, any country 